player coach of the Newcastle Vipers, Rob Wilson. Rob, I guess that's a bit of a difficult game to stomach for you, a difficult result. Um, not really. I thought we came out really poor in the first and you guys jumped on us and we made a couple of you know critical mistakes and one bad goal and before you know it, you're three down and three down in this league is going to be tough to come back on and you know we tried and we gave a good effort in the last two periods and but you know what like I said you start the game three goals down and it's very unlikely you're going to win. As you said it was a, wasn't a good first period for the Vipers but after that it was a very very even game and really could have gone any way. Yeah pretty much pretty much um, but you know like uh, I'm disappointed I'm disappointed in our start I'm disappointed that uh, you know we've been playing Besides maybe one game against Coventry at home there in the last three weeks, we've been playing pretty well. We had nine out of 12 points and starting to felt we turned the corner. And then we played the first pair that we did, you know, or, you know, probably in November. And I was disappointed with that. But on the same token, we battled back. And we got a big game tomorrow. So hopefully we can take that into the next uh, next game, which is tomorrow night. How difficult is it playing with uh, without a, a sniper such as Eddie Courtney? Well, we've, Eddie's only been here, you know, a little while. So, you know, I mean, of course, any team would miss Eddie. But, uh, you know, you got to... Got to win without them, and um, and when you have guys out or injured or whatever, but um, you know he, he's probably worth a goal a game, and uh, and tonight we didn't have him, and uh, you know so there may be that goal it sends it to overtime, and then it's anybody's game, but um, you know we got to there's more than Eddie on this team, and uh, some other guys got to step up. Now tonight the Manchester Phoenix are saying goodbye to Dwight Parrish. He's uh, he's leaving the club. He's going back to North America to begin a post hockey career. Any, uh, any thoughts on that yourself? Because I believe you've got a testimonial game coming up in Newcastle yourself. Yeah, Andy, I wish I could have retired a long time ago. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been playing injured for the last year and a half, but um, you, know, it's, it's, you know what it's like here. It's all about budget and trying to do what you can do for the club. And So unfortunately, but this is definitely going to be the last kick at the can for me. I, I, I struggle Monday mornings to get out of bed. Back's not very good. So yeah, I got a testimonial game, and um, I'm hoping, uh, you know, hoping to attract a lot of Manchester people to come up. And uh, I was going to ask Dewey to play in the game. Obviously, playing with Dewey and stuff. And uh, I think Tony's already said he's going to play. And I'm trying to locate a few ex ex guys that were around. And uh, I had a great time here. And if you know there wouldn't have been money problems, I would have stayed here probably a long time because uh, I really enjoyed my time here. And it was uh, Manchester's a great city. And uh, I really, uh, I think that, you know, I had a good rapport with the fans and uh, hopefully a lot of them will come up and uh, and uh, be a good night. And just exactly when is the testimonial, Rob? It's the 24th of February, Metro Radio Arena, and I think that's a Tuesday night. Uh, but uh, like I said, I'm really hoping everyone comes and uh, I can have a really good night. And there's a lot of people going to be out that uh, probably some fans haven't seen in a few years. So uh, hoping uh, hoping to attract a few, maybe a ton of Ripper Bant and a few others as well. So maybe some ex, uh, ex Storm guys and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can uh, not uh, make it a real enjoyable night. Well, best of luck with the testimonial, Rob. You deserve it. You've been a great servant to British ice hockey, just as Dwight Parrish has. Commiserations on the result today, but uh, I'm sure it'll be another cracking game in the Metro, F Metro FM Arena tomorrow. I hope so, and uh, I don't think you mean the commiserations, Andy. I've known you too well. You're very happy we lost, and don't kid yourself. Don't try and be very polite here, because usually you're not. So uh, we'll take that as uh, we owe you one tomorrow. All right. Cheers, Rob. Thanks a lot. Have a great new year if I don't see you. You too. All the best. Cheers,